Our verse today is Mark chapter 1, verse 18. It reads, And immediately they left their nets and followed him. The opening chapter of Mark's gospel is inundated with the Greek adverb, euthos, which is usually translated as immediately or at once. It occurs 11 times in Mark chapter 1 to accent the urgency of the kingdom proclaimed by Jesus. First, immediately Jesus was coming out of the river Jordan after his baptism, he saw the sky open and the Spirit descend on him like a dove. Second, the Spirit immediately drove Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted. Third, Simon and Andrew left their nets immediately and followed Jesus. Fourth, Jesus called John and James, sons of Zebedee, and immediately they left their father. Fifth, as Jesus entered Capernaum, immediately he taught in the synagogue. Sixth, at once there was a man in the synagogue with a withered hand. Seventh, immediately the fame of Jesus began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. Eight, immediately they left the synagogue. Nine, Jesus was informed about Peter's sick mother-in-law at once. Ten, immediately the leprosy left the leper. Eleven, after sternly warning the leper, Jesus sent him away at once, or if you like, immediately. The profuse usage of immediately in the opening chapter of Mark's gospel implies the urgency of accepting and responding to the good news that Jesus preached. Prospective disciples respond swiftly. The sick are healed instantly. Jesus' transitioning from one scene to another is prompt and seamless, and his docility to the action of the Spirit is spontaneous. This fast-paced introduction is an apt description of the good news of Mark the Evangelist. Anyone who wastes valuable time processing the message of Jesus is left behind. The hallmark of faith in this gospel is spontaneity and immediacy. This is a fitting disposition for the kingdom that is so close or approaching. Eschatological proximity necessitates prompt healings, swift responses, and abrupt narrative transitions. In the Gospel of Mark, there is no time to waste because the kingdom of God is upon us. Given this nearness, the ideal disposition to have is contrition, conversion, and a radical change of lifestyle. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come to you with contrite hearts and humble ourselves, forgive our sins and prepare us for your kingdom of love and mercy through Christ our Lord. Have a splendid Sunday, you all.